I'm Kia. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be trying Sacred by Beyonce. Let's do it. This is how my hair looked at the beginning of wash day. My first step was to saturate my hair with water fully, which took a little while. And then we're starting off with the Sacred Clarifying Shampoo and Scalp Scrub. Love the nozzle on this. Now, this provided a deep clean to my curls, which was much needed. And it helped to remove all my buildup, any residue that I had on my hair. And it has these exfoliating beads, which I really enjoyed. The entire line has this fragrance. Um, it just smells like classy <laughs> to me <laughs> like somebody with the vibes um but the next one is the hydrating shampoo i love the shampoo it had a really good slip on it and it was able to do its job my curls started to come out and play with the shampoo and it did not leave my hair feeling stripped, which I loved. I really enjoyed this shampoo and I will continue to keep this in my collection. We had a really great lather on the shampoo. All of these products, something I noticed is that my hair felt moisturized and hydrated but also strong, like it wasn't giving that feeling of breakage. I didn't see a lot of hair coming out. I mean, that may just be my personal routine, but it just was easy. And you know, we love an easy wash day. Now, before filming this video, I was Really excited to see that I received the hydrating conditioner in the mail. So I went ahead and I gave it a try. Now the marketing around this conditioner is very interesting. It says that it's a weightless hydrating conditioner for people low on time or they prefer lightweight hydration. I'm not quite sure what lightweight hydration means, but I do know that my hair was not agreeing with it. Now, it does say it's for people craving hydration without the weight, but I feel like weight matters when it comes to detangling coily hair. Like, I don't know, but my hair was not feeling it. So I went ahead and used the RX Intensive Conditioner. As I twist up these last sections, as far as my experience so far, I really enjoyed the clarifying shampoo and the moisturizing shampoo. I think was okay. Now things start to get <laughs> now things started to get a little tricky when it got to their new conditioner. Now I do not believe that that is for type for natural hair in my opinion i kept looking at the bottle i was like is this the styling lotion is this the styling lotion because the consistency was so thin i would recommend that they take a chapter out of patterns book and have this conditioner and then have like an intensive conditioner for people with thicker textures but that <laughs> The way that my hair laughed at that conditioner was not even funny. Like, I was just like, is it me? It has to be me. It has to be me. And then I was like, it's not me. It's not me. So, um, I will not be using that again. <laughs> I do have the reconstructive mask in my hair and I think that these products so far would be really great for people who wear their hair like straightened um but as far as like curly and I'm not talking about oh the curly girls like the type threes and again I hate to use the typing system but I need y'all to understand what I'm talking about <laughs> as far as 
the thick girls, the 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 four Bs, the four Cs. I I don't know if this detangling situation is gonna work for us. And I it hurts me because it's like, dang, you know, Beyonce, sacred, like you know. But I I just cannot. I can't lie about it. That was not my best detangling experience. The next product I tried was the Reconstructing Treatment Mask. Now, this mask shocked me. And, and I just had to step back and be like, wait a minute. What is going on here? So, I heat style a lot. So, I always need to use some sort of reconstruction protein mask in my hair and you can just see how the slip was there my hair was just soaking this up I really enjoyed my experience with this mask now this is they're saying this is not a deep conditioner but you know how we are in the community we don't care about that we gonna use it as a deep conditioner but if you use this make sure you follow up with something moisturizing now, these products have a patent pending bioactive keratin ferment. So what that means is that it helps to repair damage and reduce a breakage by two times. Now, this is really important to us, especially in our community, because a lot of us suffer from breakage. I also have the rice protein with the vessel and the shaker. But obviously I can't try that today. So if you're interested in seeing my thoughts on that, let me know. But um, please like this, please comment, please subscribe. Let me know your experiences. And then let's keep rolling with the video. Here's my hair with the Reconstructing Treatment Mask by Sacred. And I feel like it applies smoothly, but again, I, I think the people that have that really thick tight textured curls unless you know you wash your hair every day every other day maybe you can get away with this but if you're like a wash weekly or a bi-weekly kind of person I'm not sure that this will give you the slip that you're looking for in terms of ease but I still encourage that everybody try it for themselves because you may have a different experience than I'm having right now I just took the top off of the moisturizing deep conditioner and it is creamy. It looks creamy. Look at this. So I do have high hopes. Now me getting it on my nose y'all. Oh my gosh. And then it says apply generously to section cleaned wet hair and distribute evenly from root to end with wide tooth comb leaving for no longer than 30 minutes at heat. So that's what we are going to do. After rinsing out the reconstruction treatment mask, I went ahead with the moisture deep conditioner and y'all, this product <laughs> was my favorite. It was. So you can see that this is where I feel like my hair started to transform. <laughs> So, yes, look at the curls, they're coming through, the ease is happening, and I just had a really great experience. I can see this being used in a salon as well. I think salon people, especially for somebody who normally gets their hair blown out or straightened, I really think that they would like this. Now, I don't know if y'all can see, but my curls... They look good. I can't lie. They they look good. They're looking good. They're looking healthy. They're looking springy. They're looking hydrated. Yeah. Sacred can send me another one of this mask. Now, I will say, I did not anticipate doing all of this. <laughs> So, if you purchase the mask, know that the reconstruction mask is not a deep conditioner. 
you're going to have to use that and then you're going to have to use a conditioner preferably the hydrating conditioner after it so but i do think that this is worth it i do it's taking me some time now but you know i'm not the quickest but i'm not the slowest either so it's it's taking me some time but my hair seems to be enjoying this i'm pretty sure that i'm a tad bit heavy-handed with the deep conditioner but it is what it is so go ahead and finish my whole head i am loving the moisturizing deep conditioner i think it's so creamy it applies very well this may be is this my favorite product so far i think it is this and that clarifying shampoo and the shampoo yeah so i'm gonna have to give the regular conditioner another try i'm gonna give it another try but yeah this i like it y'all i like it y'all i was nervous for a second because when i was applying the conditioner I was like, uh-oh now, uh-oh. I did struggle to detangle. I did struggle to detangle. And I don't think that it was similar to my other detangling sessions. I do think that I took a little longer than, goodness, get some hair off. I do think that I took a little longer than usual. But, all right, yeah, this mask, it's creamy, y'all. It's nice. It's nice. The mask is nice, y'all. <laughs> All right, so I just washed out the moisturizing deep conditioner. This is one of my top products from the line thus far that I've tried. Now I'm about to apply the sacred sealing lotion to my hair. Now they do not say if this is a leave-in or not, but you can use it on damp or dry hair. And it is not a heat protected. So I am assuming that sacred will come out with a heat protected. And they also encourage you to only use a dime or nickel amount. And you know how we do in our community. We go ham. So I am actually going to go ahead and just use the suggested amount per section. Now, let's see how this goes. So it is like a leave-in. It applies smoothly. Okay. I like it. I'm also going to use this to style my flexi rods when I wake up tomorrow. So I really... The smell is light. I feel like it's doing the job and I am going to use the pattern blow dryer to blow my hair out each section out so okay I see why they called it a sealing lotion because I do feel like the moisture is still there it did add that extra layer of protection to my hair I do see some curls coming through not too much but some are definitely coming through <laughs> it applied smoothly and you could twist your hair like this if you like to twist your hair while it's damp I could totally see somebody doing that I style my hair on stretched hair always so I wouldn't do that, but if you're the type of person who loves to do that, I could definitely see that. It does It does say soft hold, 
So don't expect something that is not, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and blow my hair out. So I will see you guys in the AM with my hair blown out. Do you see the definition? I have definition in my hair already. It does feel soft, but it is enough to provide a little bit of definition. Let's get into this moisture sealing lotion. Now, there's a lot of claims on this product. It says that it locks in moisture, fights frizz, seals split ends, and aids in styling with a soft hold. And so, yes, the hold is soft, but that's okay. I feel like that's okay for what this is for their first styling product. That's fine. It does help with frizz. I will say that sealing split ends. I don't have a microscope, so I can't <laughs> back that up. But styling with it was nice. Now, the whole dime size thing, I felt like I needed probably two to three dime sizes per section on me. But this is a very interesting product. Again, if you are looking for a soft hole or you do use hair oils and you don't mind like mixing a little bit of the oil, like how you see that I'm doing here in this video with the styling lotion, then I feel like you'll like that. But you know, very interesting product for sure. I'm keeping it in my stash because I'll probably continue using this if I do this look again, or if I need to like refresh my hair or do like a retwist, I feel like that would be really good. Now, the nourishing hair oil, <laughs> that was the start of the show for me. It says it is a blend of 13 oils and plant-based extracts to seal in moisture and as a soft natural shine without silicone fillers. I'm really shocked that this product doesn't have an award yet. I feel like that is on the way because Sacred has been racking the awards up, so... But $44, oh, uh, that's, that's a little pricey. But if you read the ingredients, the oils that are in here, I would love to know where they source their oil. See buckthorn. Now, if you, if you know hair care, you know the people who use see buckthorn. That's Amika. So, but they have C, C Buckdorn with a whole lot of other things, okay, that we love. I, my hair loves watermelon sea oil. That's in here. The base oil is sunflower sea oil. And then it says coconut oil and sweet almond oil and castor oil. Those are like the top. But then if you get down in there, you see the other ingredients and you know i'm i'm impressed y'all i love this oil so much i might have to go ahead and spend my money for this oil go ahead and get one for the purse mm -hmm. they have a travel size in one of this and it's 22 dollars. so if you want to give it a try give it a try y'all i'm gonna go ahead and link the things down below but y'all this oil now is not like a sticky greasy oil so if you're looking for like a heavy oil this this isn't it for you but if you just need a regular not it's not given regular it's given a luxury but this oil is just I love this oil, y'all. Like, just, oh my goodness.
based on the texture of these products, I knew a flexi rod set on blown out hair would be ideal for me. You can definitely go ahead and do your twists and your grade outs and see how that works out for you. But the soft bouncy hold, just look at the results. The results speak for itself. getting down to some of the final ones this is a very unique style <laughs> for me it's more like a medium to chunky twist and then I go ahead and put flexies or grip rollers or whatever you want to call them on there I am noticing that my hair does have a scent and I feel like it's pretty light pretty pleasant but you can still smell it is not overpowering you know how some products have this strong fragrance sacred does not have that but you can smell it so it's like that girl that's in the room that you know she's that girl but she doesn't have to run around the room telling everybody who she is that's what sacred is i feel like my hair feels moisturized these products are legit I have had products that were more moisturizing, but I will say for a brand that is claiming that this is for all hair types, I can definitely see that. And you can just adjust how much you use. The moisture sealing lotion, at some points I was thinking, would I compare this to glue? It's not as tacky, but it does have Sorry, I just really like the smell of these. I don't have any other hair products that smell like sacred. And to be very honest between you and me, I cleared a little section on my top shelf of my stash for these products. I will be using them again for sure. I do think that I was able to achieve a definition, but my hair is still bouncy. It doesn't feel weighed down. It doesn't feel greasy. And I will use these again. I will use these again. So my, as far as my top products, definitely that deep conditioner. The hydrating one in the white bottle, that deep conditioner, definitely. And then I do think that the moisture sealing lotion would go up into a top just because it's so versatile. If you live in a household where you share products, this would be a good purchase for the family. You know, I feel like people with different hair textures can go ahead and use the moisture sealing lotion. So I am curious to know, have you tried Sacred? What are your thoughts? What did you like? What didn't you like? They also um, just came out with the conditioner, like I mentioned. I do need to use that conditioner again. Maybe I need to put a little bit of oil on it. Maybe I need to put a little bit of oil on it. But to be very honest, I don't feel like I need oil, but I feel like the oil is going to top it off. So let's get the oil. Here goes the oil. And I did notice that Sacred came out with travel size. And I would actually love travel size because I travel a lot. Y'all know if if you if you're already subscribed and a part of the family, you know that I travel a lot. Going back home, my wife and I, we love to travel. And I am low-key scared to take my full size of sacred because if somebody takes this, I'm gonna be upset, okay? But another thing is just the aesthetic of the brand and having the product sitting on my shelf like it's calling you it's like use me use me use me but yes here we go let's put a little tiny bit on my hair y'all i don't know i don't know why i'm getting a little emotional i love it please let me know what you think about this look down below 
It's giving bouncy. It is giving queen. It is giving... <laughs> That girl takes some time to do her hair and it came out cute. Like, that's what is, is checking all of the boxes. It's checking all the boxes for me. All the boxes are checked. They're not even checked, they're filled in. We had a great wash day. This was an easy wash day. It was very to the point. I will say, again, the reconstruction mask treatment is not a deep conditioner. <laughs> it's not a deep conditioner. So go into wash day knowing that it's not a deep conditioner. And if you do choose to buy it and you choose to use it, have the hydrating conditioner on deck to follow up. But my hair, it feels strong yet moisturized. My only critique of the line is the new conditioner that they came out with. I am someone with thick, tight, textured curls. Therefore, I need a lot of slip, a lot of moisture in my detangling products. I don't necessarily think at this time the new conditioner is best for me. But again, this was my first time trying it. So I will try it again. But if you have loose curls, waves, permed hair, Everything else above, I think that you'll enjoy it. So definitely go ahead and try it out. The ingredients are there. The scent is there. The vibes are there. The aesthetics are there. I really foresee Sacred knocking a lot of companies off the map. <laughs> I know, you know, people don't intend to do that, but I just instantly put Sacred on my top shelf. My favorites... I enjoy the oil. I love the moisture sealing lotion, depending on how you use it. I feel like you'll love it or hate it. If you're trying to use it for just a wash and go and you have thick hair like me, I don't think necessarily that that's going to work. It does say um, a light hold. So definitely keep that in mind. I love the moisturizing deep conditioner. This right here is probably my favorite. This in the hair oil. These two right here are top two. And then coming up third for me is the Moisture Sealing Lotion. And then the other two, the shampoo, I don't know. It takes a lot to really wow me for a shampoo. I do feel like it cleaned my hair. <laughs> like it did what a shampoo was supposed to do as far as the clarifying shampoo. I like that as well. I do like it paired up, but it was a little bit more stripping for me, but I feel like that's what a clarifying shampoo is supposed to do. And I also love the fact that it has these exfoliation beads in there. The only thing I did not try was the rice protein treatment in the vessel. So stay tuned. I am definitely going to get into that one as well. Since I do use heat on my hair, I need to make sure that I have protein treatments infused in my regimen. So definitely stay tuned for that. But overall, I am really happy with this wash day. I love how my hair turned out. I really enjoy the products that I used. And yeah, I mean, I'm a lover of Beyonce. I'm a part of the Beehive. So I didn't expect anything less than that. I already knew how when I already knew when Sacred dropped, it was like, okay, we're here. We're here. Like it was, it was a it wasn't a soft launch, okay? It was a hard launch. <laughs> I have to thank Sacred Beyonce and their team for sending me a VIP PR box, which I was completely shocked about. <laughs> if you are interested in seeing more Sacred or seeing more natural hair products, or you just like talking about products, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you found this video helpful, please give me a big like. It really helps the channel and it helps other people who are trying to get the inside tea on these products before they spend their money. Check out my next video right here. And until the next one, bye.